Over the past 20 years, the field of early childhood education has been changing. A majority of students now participate in center-based programs, which would be your schools or daycares, than any other form of early childhood education. With this increase in center-based care, many parents are questioning the benefits of early childhood education. A study done in Tennessee displayed surprising results which shook up the field of early childhood education. Children who had participated in Tennessee's pre-K program had fallen behind other children in their classes by first grade, bringing into question what exactly are the benefits of early childhood education. I have seen it firsthand um, by when I taught in both the city schools and the county schools. The benefits of kindergarten, the benefits of preschool, and um, the also the problems that arise when children have not been exposed to preschool. A problem with early childhood education is that there is no national standard for it in the United States of America. Since there is no national standard or guidelines, many states provide their own standards. In some of these states, the standards are constantly changing. How exactly have these standards changed over the past 20 years? Since I've been teaching kindergarten, I've seen a drastic change with the kindergarten curriculum. When I first started teaching 20 years ago, children were expected to know the letters and sounds, just a few sight words. They learned to play and interact with each other. And now um, children are expected to write sentences, read books. Some things are just not developmentally ready to do, but that is the curriculum that has been um, given to us. In the past, early childhood education was focused on the arts, creativity, and social interactions. Now early childhood education is focused more on children learning STEM programs, STEM concepts. Also more emphasis is pushing the children learning more complex categories and skills than they would normally be used to. What are the consequences of this shift from creativity and social skills to academics? Sometimes it's just flat out social skills. Children come to school, um, many do not have social skills. They don't know how to play games. They don't know how to share. Um, basic common, common sense skills, interacting with other kids. Um, their um, lack of being able to solve problems because you learn when you play. So if you've not had any sort of preschool, you're a little bit behind on learning, learning the cause and effect of behaviors. In the shift from social skills to academics, many teachers are torn between which one is preferred over the other. Many argue that introductions to basic STEM programs and concepts help children who are at an economic disadvantage than over their peers. While some school systems prefer for students to be maturely ready for kindergarten than academically, why do some educators prefer for children to be maturely ready over academically ready? I think if they're more social, mature, can follow directions, interact with each other, learn to um, problem solve, then they're able to sit and learn, um, and they take things in like a sponge. With the shift in curriculum and form of early childhood education over the past 20 years, what has also changed along with it? Another issue which could affect early learning in early childhood education could be age. What age do children learn the best, and at what point should children start kindergarten? Um, just the expectations placed upon the children, the ac academic expectations. Um, a plus, a win-win for everyone involved is the new law that will be taking place this year, 2017. Children will have to be five by August 1st. It is very difficult for a four-year-old to sit and listen, um, just strictly because they're four. So this will um, have kids being a little bit older when they start. Increasing the starting age is one way to solve a problem with early childhood education, but the future of early childhood education is still uncertain. Many believe that it will continue on the path of a heavy academic focus, while others look toward a focus on play and social growth. Education a lot of times goes in circles, and I'm hoping it will go back in a circle where the importance 
of play, art, creativity will be reintroduced back into the curriculum, the expectations will lessen. I might be wishful, but that's where I'm hoping it'll go in the future. Perhaps in the future we may see a national standard for early childhood education as we see with Common Core today for the kindergarten through 12th grade standards. Perhaps we could also see early childhood education shift back toward a focus on play and social interaction, or we may see it continue on the path of academic focus. Either way, the future for our youngest members of society continues to shine brighter.